Welcome to IBM Mainframer, a complete reference for mainframe programmer. We are going to discuss about JCL statements, and why it is needed. As we already know, there are three important JCL statements. First, job statement, it contains the information about who wants to process work. Second, exec statement. It contains the information about the program or procedure will be used. Third, DD statement it contains the information about program input and output datasets. Also, we have PROC and PEN statement, which is used for JCL procedure. We are having separate tutorial video for JCL procedure. There we explained about PROC and PEN statement. Let us see other three JCL statements now. First job statement. The job statement or job card must always be the first statement coded for a job. There are three basic functions performed by job statement is. It supplies a job name that MVS uses to refer to the job. And it supplies accounting information. Also, it supplies various options that influence or limit how the job is processed. Basically, job statement used to provide system related information which are required to process a job. This is the job statement format. There are many job parameters available in JCL. But here we added frequently used job parameters only. This is the sample job statement or job card look like. Hope you remember, job statement is getting extended beyond the 72nd position in a line. We continue in the next line which should start with slash slash followed by one or more spaces. Next, exec statement, which is used to identify each step in a job. This statement holds the information about the job step program, or procedure information to be executed. This is the exec statement format. This is how the actual exec statement looks. Next, the most important JCL statement is DD. The DD statements are used to define the input and output datasets. It describes the datasets, that are used by the program. We can code one DD statement for each dataset. Always code the DD statements after the exec statement that identifies the job step. DD statements are the most complicated of the JCL statements. There are three formats in DD statements. First, DD statement for DAS datasets. This is the most commonly used DD format for input and output datasets in a job. See the example below. Sort and DD statement and sort to DD statement using the format one. Second, DD statement for in stream datasets. This format of DD statement is used to send data to the program from JCL itself. See the example below, sys and DD statement using the format two. Third, DD statement for sys out datasets. This format is used to display the output of the JCL in the spool area. Sysout parameter used to direct the output device and generate messages during execution of the job to an output device. See the example below, sysprintdd statement and sysoutdd statement using the format 3. Hope you get clear picture about JCL statements. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question and comment, please visit our website www.ibmmainframer.com. Link added in description below. In next video, we will see detailed explanation about each parameter in job statement.